What is up everyone? Today we're kicking off the week of videos by taking a look at this guy. This is a boxed Nintendo GameCube that I've had kicking around for ages. Now I don't think I've ever tested it and this is quite a retro It's a Natural Colour video to do because I always used to do console testing videos and they're good fun to do. Um, I miss doing them so basically I've never tested this GameCube and as you guys know I'm clearing out and I'm selling a load of stuff so in this video today we are basically going to test the GameCube, see what it does and hopefully it works out. Now GameCubes aren't actually worth that much compared to things like N64s and Super Nintendos, but you know, they still fetch money worth having um, rather than just sitting around doing nothing. As you guys know, my GameCube is a black GameCube. You can see it there with two memory cards poking out of it and with the Game Boy Player. That is my GameCube setup. I believe this one in here is a purple one, so let's take a look. So the box feels quite loose. I don't think it has its original inserts, which is a big shame. Um, it doesn't affect the value of a console like this too much um, because, you know, it's still quite a new console, I guess, you know. It's not fully vintage retro quite yet. But it is annoying because uh, of shipping and stuff. And if it was something like an N64, it would decrease the value quite a bit. So first up, we have the instruction booklet, as you guys can see. Pretty cool that it includes that. We have an official Nintendo GameCube controller, purple, very nice, looks to be in decent condition, that's handy. If they come with a third party controller then you're off to a really bad start as well. We have a purple memory card which matches the console, very nice, that'll add a little bit of value because they don't have to go out of their way to get a memory card. And we have the console itself. Now, as you guys can see, the console is actually in pretty decent nick. It could do with a bit of a clean around there, um, but it's got all of its covers on the bottom and it doesn't have crazy yellowing going on. So, there could be a little bit of a plastic rattle inside. No, there's not. That's literally just the console itself. Um, these are quite plasticky sort of consoles. As you guys can probably tell, it does not come with a power cable or a V cable, but that's okay because I've got a supply of those and I'll dig some out now so we can test it. So I've dug out an AV cable. There it is. That's just a standard Nintendo AV multi cable or it could be a, it's a non-Nintendo one, I think. It makes absolutely no difference anyway. Um, and I have a GameCube power brick poking out of my extension lead already for my GameCube. So we'll use that to test this GameCube cube and we will test it not on my um not on my desk, I don't think. We'll test it on my retro TV setup because I really do enjoy doing that. Um, the camera does face focus issues, but you know, no big deal. Um, I, I just normally put a warning in the video if the camera goes out of focus. So I'm gonna hook all this up to my TV and hopefully this system works. There is the GameCube plugged in and ready to rock. I just grabbed two games off my pile. Game number one is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. Game number two is Crazy Taxi. Now I believe we've tested Crazy Taxi on a GameCube before but it's such a cool game um, we might as well just use that one again so we're all plugged in so we should fire up let's see if it fires up hey we're off to a good start so here we have it guys let's go turn the GameCube on awesome awesome stuff so I've got no game in there at the moment we're just gonna see if the memory card is detected which it is that's cool Awesome. So we'll leave the memory card be. Now you guys can probably tell I have the GameCube connected to my amplifier, just so I can really hear the audio and how the audio is doing. Um, let's check out Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. There it is. It's pretty out of focus, is it? Yeah. Put the game in. The game is being read. And there it is. Something is telling me this GameCube test is going to be quite successful, guys. Now, out of all the Tony Hawk games, um, number three is probably my least favorite. Just for a few reasons. I mean, it's kind of... I had it on the Game Boy, which set me off to a bad start because I was never very good at games like this on the Game Boy. I had it on the Game Boy Advance. I had an Adva Advance SP at the time. And, uh, yeah, it's just very... After playing... Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> After playing, like, the Underground games and stuff, oh, and especially games like um, American Wasteland, 
these ones feel really crappy. Having said that, number four, the remake, I have it on Xbox and I enjoy that. But n <laughs> nothing's quite as good as uh, American Wasteland and, and games like that. I mean, it all went downhill with Project 8. Jesus, guys, I'm so bad at this. Now, I know everyone says this, but I used to be quite good at Tony Hawk. Um, I'm not used to playing it with the GameCube controller. The GameCube controller is interesting because it has a small D-pad and um, the analog stick, you know, feels different. So if you're not used to it, I played it primarily on the PlayStation 2 um, and then on the original Xbox. So I am literally falling every stunt. Jesus Christ, this is embarrassing. Okay, come on. So let's just try some spins. Kickflip. Let's do double heel flip or something. Pop shove it. 360 shove it rather. He does impossibles. Inward heel flip or hard flip. Varials. Come on. It's grabs and stuff he sucks at. Or it could be me. Alright, I'm actually getting into it a little bit now. No, okay, yeah, I spoke too soon. I am still very crap at this. It's kind of annoying when you start off these games with no stats and stuff. Now, interestingly, guys, um, testing this GameCube, testing all the functions, the A button, the giant green A button, is a little bit... It's just a little bit squishy. It's no big deal, and it could just be me, but it does it does seem a bit squishy. Um, so I'm not sure if that's me. Now, for any... For anyone that's not aware, these games are indeed remakes. Um, well, ish. They originally came out on the PlayStation 1 primarily, along with you know consoles like the N64. Um, and now they've been remade with the graphics, the same graphics that you find in the underground games uh, on this generation of consoles. So PS2, GameCube, and Xbox. Quite interesting, you know, cash in a little bit. You see a lot of them about for sale these games, so people obviously bought them, I guess, um, but the originals were on the PlayStation, and by the time, by the time these came, um, you know, underground and stuff was around the corner, I guess, I'm not sure about the timings. They also incorporated a few of the newer tricks, and also the newer park editor that you find in the underground games. Um, which is called Creator Park, not Park Editor, I think. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, I'm sucking at this, as you can probably tell, guys. But another thing you can hopefully tell is the GameCube is actually working really well. Um, so, let's put Tony Hawk's away for a second. Uh, let's just start up for a laugh. I haven't done this in a while because I haven't played GameCube in ages. Let's hold down the Z button and start it up. Just to hear the secret start up. <laughs> now, something I've never done is used four controllers and done that. I would love to do that, just to see what it's like. We're just trying another game, guys, just to make 100% sure. We'll try Crazy Taxi and see what it does. Now, Crazy Taxi is a Dreamcast test game, in my opinion. Um, it belongs on the Dreamcast, but it's such a good game. And, you know, it's got such an appealing bright yellow cover that I just had to pick it up to test this GameCube. Awesome. Alright guys, so just as a warning, I'm standing up playing this and I'm to the side of the television so I can't really see. Gus. Let's play with Gus. Let's have some fun. Um, you know, full of excuses today. But let's go for it anyway. And of course, the legendary Offspring soundtrack. 
Now this looks on the GameCube pretty much identical to how it looked on the uh, on the Dreamcast. But of course, it does feel a bit odd playing this with the GameCube controller. The GameCube controller is very, very good. One of my favourites, actually. But, um, you know, this game belongs on the Dreamcast. And, in my opinion, as an arcade-type pick-it-up-and-play-it-for-five-minutes-for-fun game, this game has aged really, really well. So as you guys can probably tell, this is a really nice example of your bare basic GameCube auction if I include the controller, the console, the memory card, the instruction manual in the box, unfortunately without inserts, and maybe a game if I can dig a doubler out or, or a crap game from my collection that I don't want, just a game to spice up the deal a little bit. Um, so. This is working incredibly well, all tested, very pleased. I'm really sorry if any of that was out of focus, guys. People tell me to put my camera on manual focus when I'm doing those kinds of videos, but I haven't got the eyesight to focus my camera myself, which is uh, quite ironic. So I'm really sorry about the focusing issues. It always happens with CRTs, but it, it's, you know, it keeps this channel raw. It's things like that that make this channel not too professional, and you know, it's, it's always a danger getting too professional. So that was a GameCube test. Expect more console tests very soon, more in depth as well, and also some probably cooler consoles, some older consoles, um, because I know I've done quite a few GameCubes and N64s in the past. So as when I dig into my cupboard, I'll be seeing a lot more stuff appear like this. So that's it from today's video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please give me a thumbs down if you didn't, and write in the comment section why. Of course, thumbs down for out of focus camera work is very unfair, but I will understand because people do expect good camera work these days. Hope you guys have enjoyed, like I've said a million times, and I will catch you in tomorrow's video. Yeah.